So now that we've made the basketball move to the soccer ball and then had the soccer ball pop, we're going to add another sprite so that the basketball can continue its journey and move to another spot on the grid. Now, if you've closed your Scratch Junior program and you go back into it, you'll notice the grid is not there. So we have to click on the grid at the top to make it be there again. So once the basketball gets to the soccer ball, we, went, we then want to move it to another sprite. So I'm gonna add another sprite. And now I'm going to add another ball. So we'll add the ball with the stripes. And I'm going to move it to 16, four. I'm going to go back to my basketball code and I'm going to think about once it gets to the soccer ball, I then want it to move down to this pink ball. So you can double ch check where the square is on the pink ball. It's a little tricky because it's hard to tell exactly where it is, but you should be able to see that it's um, at 16 and four. So we're going to, the students will choose whether they want to go down and across first or across and then down. So I'm going to move to the right first. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, where students might do subtraction to figure that out. So we'll move to the right first. So we're going to go back to our basketball. I'm just going to add to the previous code. So click on that. Click on the number. And if ever you find you can't, you're not clicking on it, sometimes you just have to click more to the bottom of it to make sure the keypad it's up. You can see I accidentally ran my program. There we go. And that happens sometimes where people will say, I can't click on it. So just try clicking on the bottom part of it. I'm then going to need to go down one, two, three, four. So we can click the down arrow. And the good thing about that, this program is that if they're not right, they can just fix it later. So to reset our program, because you notice that the soccer ball is big right now, just click on this little blue circle at the top with the arrow in it. Now, once it gets to the ball with the stripes, we want the ball to do the same as the basketball. We want it to grow big once the basketball touches it. So we'll click on the yellow box and we'll grab the when it touches the two people doing kind of looking like a high five. And I'm going to go to the purple blocks and I'm going to make it get bigger. I'm going to change it to 30. And then I'm going to make it go pop. And I'll go back to the purple blocks and I'll make it disappear. So let's run our program now. Click on the green flag. I'm just going to go back to the soccer ball and what I've noticed here is my disappearing block is moved away so I'm going to add that block on oops that's the wrong one Move the one disappearing block we have to get rid of the other one though it's being a bit finicky here whoops there we go oops I got rid of the wrong one so to delete blocks just move them up the pop and then the disappear, so we'll reset our program. And what's neat about it, if you click on the basketball code, it highlights the code that it's on at the time, which I think is neat because then students can trace, we call that tracing or tracking the code as you're going through. So there's the soccer ball disappears and then the strike ball disappears. And again, if you have your volume up, it will actually pop.